I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that Hey y'all, my name is Steph. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you are returning bestie, hey girl. So we're gonna get right into this video. The unit that we'll be working with today is from Ollie Made Wigs. They sent me a 36 inch Swiss lace custom box spray unit. And one thing I can say about them, y'all, they are fast with shipping and they are super affordable for the summertime. If you're looking for a grab and go type of box spray wig, this is definitely the company to go for. All info on how to purchase this unit will be in the description box below. So please check them out. And plus, trust me, y'all, it was definitely worth it. And I want to thank Ollie Mae Wigs for sponsoring this video. Your wig. In your package, you will receive a 36-inch Swiss lace unit just like this, as well as two wig caps, which I fuck with, of course. Yes, okay. And I saw other channels that they had like little hair jewelry or whatever, but I didn't get no jewelry, but I wasn't tripping. So yes, you see me messing with the wig now. It is completely done. It comes with the edges already out, which I like. But yes, the hair is synthetic hair, so you cannot curl the baby hairs to do like the extra baby hairs or whatever that you like. But we are one thing that I did not like about the wig and I could say was this extra lace that you see right there as you can see I'm cutting that out which I will show you how to do if you desire if you like it that's you but personally for me I wanted to cut that out because it gives more of a lace effect so I had took my tweezers and it's like a invisible lace like not invisible, invisible thread that's at the top of the wig and you're just gonna slowly pluck that on out which you will see me do right here and I will show you how to pluck that out and also I remove the clips in the back as well This is just the finished result of me finishing cutting all that lace out as well as the clips and now it's giving lace, it's giving natural, it's giving exactly what I needed it to give. And now we are ready to install this wig. Per usual, you guys know that we start with a basic foundation, braid it back, we put the new cap on, and per usual, I am going in with my new glue, the Best Hold Lace Glue, across that cap, 
and all information on how to purchase my glue will be in the description box below so now I'm gonna go in with some LA Girl concealer and while the front is drying I'm gonna go in the back of that cap and I'm going to put it in the back of the cap so the box braid look can be full out through you don't want to have a light loop cap in the back and then a tinted cap in the front so we're gonna put it in the back and then I'm gonna sew the cap in the back to a braid I always put in my foundation across the nape of the hair so it can have that full effect because I did keep the last clip in the back just so it can snap under the wig and you will see later why I kept that um, thing in the back <laughs> Now we're gonna add the glue across the hairline. We'll be using the Best Hold Lace Glue. How to purchase this glue as well will be in the description box below. We're gonna put it across her hairline and after each layer clear, we're, dries completely clear, we're going to put another layer on and we're gonna do that three times. And once completely dry, we're gonna put our hair dryer on low heat and go across that hairline and put our elastic band on and let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I did say I kept the comb in the back of the wig because it snaps perfectly back and the way these wigs are done y'all is so amazing you don't even need to sew your wig in the back you literally just snap the back adjust it how you need to and nothing else like it gives that box braid effect in the back and that's something i've never seen out of a box braid wig before but ali may wigs definitely came through with that Now we're gonna cut the lace. I'm going in with the edge razor right across that lace, trying to make sure I don't cut those cute little baby hairs right there that comes on the wig. And if you follow these steps correctly, you should be able to have a smooth cut straight across that hairline right where you laid the glue at.
now we're gonna go in for those baby hairs i did cut them a little bit and then i took a little of a got to be gel and i just gave her some soft little swoops just some normal ones that she would probably do and i also styled it my girl love her some two buns at the top of her head so yes we did go in and gave her her buns or whatever you can do different styles with this up and down all down side buns anything whatever this wig is very versatile again all information on how to purchase this wig from Ali Mae Wigs will be in the description box below. And I want to thank you guys for tuning into this video. And please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Become a bestie, all that good stuff, y'all. And follow me on all social networks. Stay tuned for the final look. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>